Hi. Uh, my name is Leandria. I'm a truck driver for PepsiCo and in the state of Kansas um, during the COVID-19 uh, pandemic. Hours have increased uh, quite a bit um, due to this time. I feel blessed to be able to be able to provide for my family. Um, and I also feel good that I am able to bring some type of norm normality to people's lives um, because my dad, he was a, a heavy, heavy soda drinker um, when I was coming up. And, you know, a lot of people, they start their day with uh, a nice can of soda or they start their day, you know, with coffee or whatever their preference are. And I can only imagine how off they would feel if these things weren't available like normally they're available. I remember once I went into the back of one of my stores, um, into to the back room, and I was telling the receiving lady um, that I couldn't find any hand sanitizer anywhere. I'm like, I checked several different stores. I couldn't get a hold of any. I had none at this point. And um, she told me, she said, um, I put two to the side you can go ahead and take them and I'll just wait for the next ones to come in. And I was like, I don't want to take anything, you know, from you, um, you know, in your family. She was like, oh no, we, we know when it comes in. So don't worry about it. Just go ahead and take it. And she didn't have to do that. She didn't have to do that. I could have just been without, you know, but I was very grateful. You know, she said, we're all in the same boat. We're, we're, we're frontline employees and we need to be able to help each other. You know, my kids are at home and I feel like if they see me getting up going to work, it still shows that thing, things aren't as unusual as what they actually are. Um, I know they know what's going on. Absolutely. I know they understand. I just don't want them to feel, because I think when things totally shut down completely, like if things totally changed 100%, I wasn't going to work, wasn't anybody going to work. Everybody was just pretty much condemned to their homes. Um, I think at that point it would probably instill some type of fear. I think a lot of people are already kind of scared, but I just kind of feel like, you know, if you just hold on to your faith and believe in God, you know, everybody will get through it. Everybody will get through this. The world can be a better place. Hopefully this whole ordeal will create uh, something for us to become better human beings, you know, a, a better uh, race of people um, to know that we are all in this together, that it's not just a race or a sex or, you know, it, it, it's nothing separating us at this time. Everybody's going through this together and it doesn't matter what you look like or what you do or what your religion is. It's attacking all of us as a whole, as, as a human race. And we all need to be able to connect with each other and love before hate, you know, is a big thing. Um, and like I said, I'm just, I'm just a small, you know, person in a, a huge mound of people that's trying to make things feel as normal as possible and I appreciate the love and I appreciate what everybody else is doing also I appreciate the doctors and the nurses looking out for the people that are sick I, I appreciate um, all of that and like I said I pray for everybody going through this this is a horrible time um, but we're all going to get through this together and I appreciate the love I really do